Hi, I'm so sorry, I'm so late! We're playing Star Rail today! Um, I've got no other things to talk about. I'm just so sorry, I'm so late. I got caught up with some other stuff. But let's continue with Star Rail, right here. Woohoo! going to be continuing our story here lest we left off um i did accidentally talk to natasha while trying to talk to sampo so uh i did learn that natasha is the actual leader behind wildfire i thought it i yeah um i thought she was just a member of wildfire um and uh sila is gonna be coming with us uh did the synthesizer explode no Oh, okay. 
Uh. Aha. Uh -huh. Is that what you're doing? Brandy Calyxes. Did you even sleep? Credits are light cones. <laughs> Need some company? Aww. Hell yeah, Marge. Alright. Um, yeah, I gotta check up on dailies here. Claim this. Claim this. Alright, and let's continue with the main story. Waha wahoo! Oh, what's this? Eh, it's fine. I'll just do that later. It's getting late. Wait. All right, we are meant to reconvene here. Uh, well, now that we're done with that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. Hell yeah. <sighs> but Oops. thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. Yeah, it was just far, inevitable. Uh, sorry, I wasn't. You tried your good. best. Don't blame yourself. I should have considered such a situation in advance. And it was Svarog who attacked first. We didn't have any other choice. Uh, I didn't mean for you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Now everyone knows that the real problem here Hell is yeah. the Celeron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. But we still have a lot left to figure out. For instance... Where's exactly. the Celeron? We don't even have the Celeron's coordinates and location. Kokolia's sudden change in attitude is also very curious. It has to be that she's the all of the still haven't put um, all of the pieces together. Supreme Guardians are being influenced by the dreams? Stellaron. Oh, now we're talking about oh, the dreams. I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. What is you heard in your recent dreams? Mm. All three dreams were the same. With it has to be the Celeron. Other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random. If there is some meaning behind them. Hmm. Maybe you're having them because... Because of the Celeron inside her? That's my hunch. But I have no proof. <sighs> well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this oh, talk, we're gonna we're be sneaking around. We solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Also, there's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Branya. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. Alright, we are right here. Uh, how'd it go? You're tired. How'd it look for you? Miss Nice us. Natural immunity. Everyone, so exhausted after running around the whole day. It's take it to your room. I'll bring the food over when it's ready. Thank you. So that you're staying at the Goat Grand Hotel. Find the bed and pillow. The room temperature. It's working fine. If you need anything, please let me know. Uh, I filled out a service reading card. Not really. Then have these. Oh. Let's go. Okay, yeah, let's. Wait, let's You're arrest. Back. I've heard from Wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Svarog. Amazing. It Hell yeah. must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest. Let's sleep in. Go to bed. Um, I don't suppose. Alright, yeah, there's nothing else here. Um, I'm gonna switch out my team real quick. Let's switch out Kurta for Bailu. Alright, yeah, this works here. Alright. Oh! Those two! Over there. See that? That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town. 
and it's also oh, where I grew up. up. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg caught me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of ten, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. Oh, that sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? I don't think she is. Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Uh, you're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? What I meant was... I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Bronya. This is against the architect's admonishments, Bronya. <laughs> Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Bronya. <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped when every choice and every goal has already been made for you <laughs> you probably can't imagine how that feels no i can't but more importantly what kind of foul language are you using <sighs> oh look at these two in the name of the architects i shall stick this spear into your nostril <laughs> <laughs> that's it <laughs> oh that's nothing Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. <laughs> no. No, that won't be necessary. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. Oh, look at them. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart-to-heart -heart with the future guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and figured you were all just a bunch of gold snobs. I've heard from some Silver Main veterans, but before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people, these precious things must certainly still connect us all. There is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds. We can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze and the fragmentum. Oh. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is very important to me. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? I can imagine. Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but... As long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. Why does my mother hide it from me? And why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... It doesn't make sense. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can I do. I don't think that's a good idea, Branya! Go ask her directly. You... Hold on. You're not really going, are you? Branya, you're alone? too earnest. That's not gonna happen. Yes, this plan is... I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Even if... <sighs> Branya. This is for you, Zila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see you again, They'll know what to do. Okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But remember this. If you run into trouble, 
I will come to save you, no matter what. Then I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. <sighs> Very nice. Oh, this is the scene that was in the the one cutscene with the trail with when the the Stellaron awakened. Anyway, um, wow, <sighs> love them. That was a good sleep. I should go meet up with March and Denon. You should. Sure hope nothing bad happened. She definitely left and went on her own, didn't she? Okay, what's this? Obtain the recipe for fried rice. Oh, I got it? Okay. That is not what I was expecting. Alright, let's go. Meet with the group. Took you long enough, sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. Maybe consider if she didn't I've get any sleep. That our sleep routines don't match up. You either keep getting up in the middle <coughs> of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. Unacceptable. You gotta work on your teamwork. Or I don't think hmm. any amount of teamwork can Did help you that. dream again last night? Nope. Not this time. So that's why you slept for so long. Well then. Let's go find Wildfire to discuss our next move and see if they have any new discoveries. Let's go! I can't wait to finally get back above ground! <sighs> finally, alright. Oops, that's the wrong button. Uh, it's fine. I probably won't need that. Alright, what's the plan with Wildfire? Oh, look who's here. It's the Bane of Svarog, the big hero of the underworld. And the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7. Were those lines rehearsed? So Where's I can Natasha? only assume that she Branya did. went up to the surface on her own. She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. I speak on behalf of Natasha. By the way. Sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire a secret. <laughs> I don't think you should apologize for mm. that. Doesn't matter anyway. I'm glad you don't mind. Natasha is always cautious, but she has no ill intent, as you surely have noticed. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. I gave it some thought, and yep. I think the safest way is to ask this fellow for help. I brought you down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Satisfaction guarantee. There's no need to knock us out this time, right? I sure hope not. Of course not. This time, we'll go back through the furnace core. Oh, like, give us someone else? Please. Don't be like that. We have so much history together. I think because of that history, we can't have any faith. Ugh, enough chatter. Just be a good guide. Who's gonna... I assume everyone else is gonna have Hold to step on. up the work. What about Branya? Yeah, she already went on ahead, didn't she? Why isn't she here? She already went back. As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. What? She just ditched us and went back? You let her. She also has her own plan. Exactly. She has a lot of responsibilities. I don't completely understand, but I trust that she's trying to solve the problem. Oh, right. Branya told me to give you this. What? She left us a letter. Oh. One of those open in case of emergency no, I think we open it now. I've never gotten one of those before. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? Stop overthinking and just open it. Okay. By the time you read this letter, I should have returned to the overworld and be on my way to see my mother. I apologize for not telling you of my plan. I was afraid that you would strongly object, which may sway my judge my resolve. Madame Cocolia raised me up, and I will never be able to repay her kindness. 
She taught me countless life lessons and virtues, as well as how to defend Bellabog and its people. Even though she has lately made certain decisions that puzzle me, I can't let go of all the precious memories I have with her. I must communicate my point of view and thoughts to her honestly, and seek to arrive at a mutual understanding with her. This is my goal as a daughter, but it is also my duty as a Silvermane guard. But I am aware of the risk I must face on my journey. So if I fail to win my mother's approval, or if something happens to me, please forward this letter to the Landu siblings and ask for their help. Sir Val and Gepard are honorable people with enormous power in Bellabog, and I have complete faith in them. I'm sure they will unreservedly help you in your search by the Stellaron once they see my seal in handwriting. Run your round. All right. Brother must refer to Jepard, but it's Serval, the, the mechanic. Oh, Serval! So she's Jepard's older sister. <laughs> I hope nothing happened she gave it some to good Branya. Thought, but whatever's going on in that supreme guardian's head, even Branya might have trouble understanding. Oh, there's a collectible Sam, right back there. Do you know the Landau siblings? Landau. Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with the younger oh. brother in the past, but the sister... <laughs> <laughs> uh, today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. Day of celebration? We can set out at any time. Just come find me when you're ready. Alright. Uh... Oh, simulated universe. Let's go. Cleanse the dark in the darkness outside. Um, okay, I'll do- I, I'm only gonna focus on the main mission right now. Okay, uh, mission. Mentally and leave at some point. Oh, I just talked to him? Well, my friends, are you ready to head out? Um, What's still unfinished business, hang on! I forgot to collect that, thank you! Well, my friends, are you- Oh, I Ask away, my friends! Ooh, uh, I don't well, have any more friends, questions. Are... Uh, let's Wonderful. go. Wonderful. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. Oh, I can imagine. Coolio. Uh oh. Mother. I have returned. Rania, I thought, I thought I'd lost you. Where were you? Are you are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, Mother. I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. I don't think that's a the good idea. Oh, I see. In that case, report everything you saw. Commander Branya. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Sparrow and learned some truths about the Stellaron. Uh oh, Kokolia is not gonna like that! Madame Kokolia. It is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Mother, you've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? The responsibility of bearing that oh, yeah, I don't think this is going to end up well. Such is the burden of being guardian. To carry these secrets for eternity. So, I ask you to forgive my defiance. I believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellar on the architects waited hundreds of years. And those outsiders may be the... The... Get out! Uh oh. What? Arrogant. Ignorant. Uh oh. You disappoint me, Branya. You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg. And now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum. That's 
I don't think this is the Kakolia that you knew, Vranya. Guards! Take Vranya. They are not scum. My entire life, everything you ever kept from me, I remember it clearly now. This time, this time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Why do you send the Silvermane guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Huh. I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just... Didn't expect it would be so soon. Oh. Uh. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. I am ready. Mother. Branya, I, I think this is a bad you. idea. It is time you heard it. The voice of this. Oh, uh, Branya, this is a horrible idea! Ooh, I think Okolia is long gone. Alright. We're finally back! Guys, there are cards right behind you! Oh, what flavor is it? Freedom. A cold. Mainly cold, actually. Let's go. Where's our next stop? We should find somewhere to put our feet up. As long as it's not Goethe Hotel again. Well, we should find Serval, right? Classic, unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. Home is where the heart is. Let's go back to the express. Let's find Lando. You're talking about Chapard. We should be careful. He's a top silver main guard. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. Don Hung, what do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. Yeah. So you think we should avoid Jepard for the time being, right? He's an elite officer of the Silvermane Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter, we'd be walking right into the lion's den. Hmm, makes sense. Guess we better head over to Sir Val's workshop then? Yep. But we must keep a low profile. We're still wanted fugitives. Allow me to run in front of every single guard I go in. Nothing. It's just a little new. The last time I was on the surface, I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. The overworld and the underworld. We've we've been cut off for so long. I'm okay. Let's go. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. It might have something to do with us. Oh. The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. Vanya. Have you heard of the Rightful Right Society? Oh, okay. I don't have to sneak past them or anything. Alright, excuse me? It's the radiator fixers. Ah, uh, Serval, thank you! Alright, 
He'll be safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing and barely anyone comes in. Just what crime did you commit, exactly? They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city and everyone's in a panic. Oh, we just... Not yet much. Rania said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? Oh, Don Hung. Good. Good. That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the architects. I refused to stand. Oh, she used to be an architect? I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Besides, I know the architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy at first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. Do you know Kokolia well? <laughs> you could say that. Oh. We were like sisters once, inseparable. Of course, that was all before she became the supreme guardian. These days, I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. Good for you, honestly. Live your life. If I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. Let's get back to you guys. If long lost Rania told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> I love Serval. Serval is so cool. I really like her. Tell the long and short of it from start to finish. Ooh, I'm the best storyteller. March, no! Uh, try not to embellish the facts. I doubt it, March. Telling Serval about your time in the underworld and what you know about the Stralaron and showing her Branya's letter. So that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. After all these years in isolation and without a single word from below, this is what's become of the underworld? I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron, I know why Branya got you to find me. When I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research division, I was researching the Stellaron. I never Ooh. thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Come on, I'll tell you everything. Alright, talk to Serval some more. Only a very few people in Bellabrog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. Huh. And according to the data recorded in that robot, Spara, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. I think we should be hiding a bit, like, more. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled. Or abandoned. Maybe I should Ooh. be thanking Kokolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. How much do you I know about the Stellaron? Out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked, so I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. Ooh. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report, and application, I received my punishment. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. Do you know what Kokolia's end goal is? Kokolia... It's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. 
She became a completely different person when she took the Supreme Guardianship. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm, it was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. She gave the order to expel me herself and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior, and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? That's probably what happened. Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation. And the real Kokolia has already vanished. Is she being compelled by previous generations of guardians? <laughs> Sir Paul, I don't think that's good. Decisions. <sighs> Who knows? But this might make for good songwriting material. Can we talk to Japard? <laughs> Japard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Oh, that's a good thing he Even went to Sir Paul. Even if you stuck letter to his forehead. He wouldn't be swayed. You need to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. It might be best if I talk to him. Though, I'd need a strategy first. Do you know where the yes. Stellaron is? I never observed it directly, but... Yo, I let's go! Lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog. North of Bellabog. Somewhere in the vast snow plains. Ah, uh, the source of it all, you huh? Must locate it as soon as possible. Ideally, before Kokolia takes action. Can you tell us the way? <laughs> Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing. But I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the fragmentum. If oh, you we'll want get to get there. to the northern snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of fragmentum to deal with. Silver Silvermane Guard restricted yes. zone? That's where the main force of the Silvermane Guards is stationed. They've consolidated their position there in order to resist the encroaching fragmentum. Sounds like. No, that's not a good idea, March. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the Let's north. go, Serval. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. This calls for brainwaves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Really? Great. Less scary if someone you know is leading the way. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. All right. That's it for dialogue with Serval. Okay. Um. Oh. Hope we can hide just fine. Japard! It's you! I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work, Serval! Things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks is slow. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah! Oh, yes! That's right. Serval, this is terrible acting! Sis, you look a bit pale. Did something happen? N no Why would anything have happened? You don't normally use my full name. Uh-uh. You said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Right, Brosif? You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. 
There's something oh. wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed oh, to keep quiet. Okay, Jafar. Little Jeppy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Don't say that. Ah, forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back oh. into the administrative district. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Bronya. Is she all right? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Zilla? the cloth fort. See ya. Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. <laughs> well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel uh -oh, in the uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. last time I was here. Let me have a look for it. Uh oh, Jepard! Over... Uh, wait! What is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's, um... Right! You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning, and now they smell terrible. So, don't go over there. Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed oh. to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. I am not! How dare you! What do you take your sister for? Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. Oh, I'm so glad I've he's also very earnest. Care. Bye for now. Uh, hey, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask, what crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Picolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian. But this isn't a joking matter. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. Oh, Pela's in the band? I will, if I have the time. The coast is clear. You can come out now. Yo, thank you, Serval. <sighs> I nearly suffocated. What kind of plot device was that? I almost lost my cool when he went for his flask. This is bad. Ron is in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klopoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. Source. I'm certain of that. Source required, here's her ball. You sound like Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. Have you thought of a way to persuade Kokolia? I was gauging his reactions just now. Did you see? Unless we have irrefutable evidence, he won't question Kokolia's orders. If you go after him now, our plan's as good as over. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. All right, let's go. Is Bronya really safe? I don't think she you is. Care about her, huh? You must have become close friends. Close is a bit much, but I made her a promise. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. I can believe that. Let's go. 
Alright, uh, before we head in, let me check my uh, stuff here. Anything I can level up. Um, I think I'm all good on relics. Traces. Nope. I'm stealing this from Kayla. I am also stealing this. And this. Um, yeah, I think this is good. And Bailu, I think is good. I think I can steal. I'll keep this. I'm going to steal this off of Shinsha. Um, I'll... Actually, I'll take this. Keep this and this one stay. Unless. No, this is fine. Alright, we should be all good. I don't think I need to switch MCU's light cone. Yeah, MC's all good. I might as well level it up. Uh, Dunhun's all good. Asta, do we need to switch? No, I don't think so. I think I'm all good. Great to all, all allies. I think I'd rather keep sure feeling. Alright, I think we're all good. Let's get in. Jack, oh! Security, all right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brain waves. Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. Trick the guard and get into the restricted zone. Oh, okay. Oh shoot. Oh, there was a. Okay, still got a couple things for this. All right, I'll do that later. This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Wait, isn't that... <laughs> Serval! Long time no see. Well, if it isn't Franz... Long time no still see. watching the entrance? You're still watching the entrance? Well, you see, I... Yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers. So, he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Mm. Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? No, no that's uh, not something- Come I on, let us in, Franz! <sighs> Seeing as you're Captain Jappard's sister, it should be fine. Okay, here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, no, Captain Jappard hates all that under-the-table stuff. I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. Let's go! See? That was easy. You're Jappard's sister, aren't you? <laughs> Do you see that mechanical oh. gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, I just wanna... you arrive at hell on Earth. What exactly is on the other An side? An endless fragmentum? few exhausted Silvermane guards, and the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hill. Are you ready? Of 
to come as far. Exactly. We've got nowhere left to retreat. <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. I help set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them. All right. Is Japard on frontline duty a lot? Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? So dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Lando. All right. <sighs> nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Jafard and you were brother and sister. Oh, is it? I can't say I blame you. I'll do that later. We're nothing alike in personality or interest. It's broken. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life. Is that a... Darn! Can't activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. So someone's deliberately trying to cause I... trouble. Huh. You know, the more I think about it, the more it seems deliberate. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the Fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. Somehow I doubt that. Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabog. Just my conjecture, but... I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the fragmentum That monsters. doesn't sound good. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. Over there. Oh, well, there's Polya. Okay, they're just walking, not enemies. We're good. In there. That's it. The thing's shaped like a giant iron ball. And it's behind a gate. What are the odds? Its formal name is the Mechanism Energy Hub. It's connected to all the energy lines. I would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone. Mm. No wonder it's so heavily guarded. One unit for everything? That's yeah. a disaster waiting to happen. We learned the hard way. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. The guard That's is why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vol. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on, let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. All right. Yo! Evening, soldier! Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without of the security course. captain's encryption key. The Supreme Garden? <laughs> hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Ah, darn, this is <laughs> stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother then? Uh, uh, captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem, we'll be back in a bit. All right, find Silverman Captain Dunn. Over there? Who? Oh, okay, just Derek. 
model. Hey, done. It's been a while. I didn't know you made security captain. Zaral, it's been a long time. You're still so. <laughs> <coughs> you look good. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool. Pleased to meet you. Great seeing you. No. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> oh, what's that weird smell? <clears throat> uh, Zachary, how many days has it been since Oh, done. I showered right before my shift. Hmm? What did you say? I... I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable. Especially in front of visitors. Why do I have a feeling that's actually done? It's not a big deal, done. Uh, you know, if you get Sarah a chance, I don't think this small talk is good. Outfit? My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched the keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not so I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? <sighs> We'll be on our way after we run a checkup. Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh... Let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have not functioned. Those useless engineers keep finding the problem. Something like that? And may I ask... When did he contact you? Just now. Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped around and asked the favor. Uh huh. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could. I ate grave. Confirm. Oh, hope those grapes are good. Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back. Uh, that can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> Haven't changed, Serval. Uh, still a lousy liar. <laughs> green grape isn't good purple solos. Uh, I think all grapes are good. These people you've brought, they're... They're not workshop assistants, right? Uh, they're Fritz Serval, Branya. it's not that I don't want to help you. But you should remember that I'm You should tell her that we're with Branya! And we want to check up on her! How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. The outsiders must remain. There goes the negotiation. Looks like this is gonna end up in a fight after all. I brought you guys here and I'm standing with you till the end. Dunn, this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't see Show me. him the Bronya letter! Survive. We used to rehearse together every day, you must understand. My rock and roll soul is to uh. uphold the dignity of a soldier. Okay. Move well, okay. The truth of life and death. The Dude, is but a first March the 7th? Uh, not right now. Let's make it quick. Like I'm using Asta mostly to keep everyone speed up. Oh stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Let's go. Who invited you? <laughs> oh, reinforcement? Really? Fighting Counter, gotcha. The truth of life and death. The is but a vision. Break. Let's make it quick. MC can take it. No manners, All right. huh? 
I could rant on how I hate counter. Oh, I hate shield more in any game. Shields suck. A, suck. Too late to repent. Let's go. All right, that wasn't hard. Why? I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it. The encryption key. Quick, before we... Serval, I think it's too late for that. Serval, I think it's too late for that. I think we attracted attention. That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. Well, let's take him out. We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. If I'd known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would've been enough to expose us. So like, are they just gonna come all the way here? Okay, well... Okay, well... Might as well. I've no interest in conflict. This is our chance. Who invited you? <laughs> you the doctor? Huh? Break this. Fighting nice. is meaningless. Let's make it for Alright. Let's go. Fortunately, you are not a. Oh, let's see. Let me tend your wounds. Oh, no, no. Saving me won't earn you any favors. I think I should. Have no interest in conflict. I think I should bring March. Yeah, maybe I'll bring March. I think a lot of these enemies are, um, are ice weak. Um, let's level you. Let's level you up. I leveled up your traces. Yeah, I have. Okay. Okay, March is all good. I should probably level up her relics, though. HP. Yeah, I'll, I'll at least upgrade her HP, the HP one. HP one's all upgrade. Oh, that's too much. I should upgrade all of these. Yeah, that's fine. One point in speed. That's good enough for me. And then... HP percent. Alright, that's good. Alright, I think that should be good for now. over here. Oh, there's a whole horde. This will strengthen our position. Monk. 
Provide support. Provide support. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of ice res here. This is our Symbols for the channel points? I've always had those. Fighting is meaningless. This is our chance. Go in the middle. My turn. Bonk you. Okay, you go after, and now I bonk you. Too late to repent. Hi, bad either way. I love them. Thank you. Ooh, there are a lot of them over there. Hey god, where's March? Where's March? Where's March? I need to switch to March! Ho <laughs> ho! I need to connect you here. There we go. Too late to repent. Need to chain you together here. Told you I could fight. Ooh, not quite. No interest in conflict. This is our chance. Let me tell your wounds. Yeah, this is really too much. <coughs> Don Hung and MC are my two main damage dealers. Have done it without me. Yep, we did that. Oh, it's open. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dun. All right, before anything, let's use a consumable. Emergency fire evacuation system. Officer Vol. If Ailu is already adult, when they were like a fetus, were they like a small child? No, I don't think that's how that works. I think they just stop growing. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode? Who the heck added that? And they used one of my songs. Gear bridge control terminal. <laughs> Still found it. Uh oh. That's it. I oh, okay, the energy we're good. System. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. All right, we're gonna have to fight our way there. Won't more silver main guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Yep. Of course. That's our plan. Well, either we reason with them or charge straight through the blockade. Let's play it by ear. Well, <laughs> if you say so, Sir Paul. Please. guy up ahead there's no other way we'll have to fight <laughs> if we can beat Svarog we can beat this one hell Let's yeah go. Yeah. Uh oh oh no we're good move carefully Let's go the truth of life and death. Break this one. It's but a vision. Break. Uh, MC is not going to break. Yeah. Tough luck running into me. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. This isn't gonna break, but it's gonna do a lot more than if I just basic attack. Need a doctor? <laughs> Engage order. Come on. Uh, it's fine. Let's make it quick. Oh, I don't My know why turn. I. Okay, that's fine. Let me tell your wounds. Hey, yeah. okay, Rules are made to be broken. 
Not much, but... Okay, not much. Not much damage. I think I'll just use Lilu heal. Yeah. Heal up and see. Skipped over Dot Hug, but you know what? We're good. Sure, it'll be fine. Let's make it quick. Yep, target on MC. We're good. Let's explode. Oh, not quite. And this will break. Too late to repent. Oh, I don't need to. I'm just. There we go. Bye bye. Yeah, I gotta do this quick. Come on, come on. Percent, Survival. Eighty. We did oh, okay. it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. Perfect. Okay. We need to get to the front line. We could have a problem. Oh, Your he will. Don't there. worry. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Are you sure you can convince him? No. I probably got a 30% chance, or less. Just stick Branya's letter into his face! Meaning it could end in a fight. Haven't you noticed yet? Most of our convincing ends in a fight. We need to be sure, Saval. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, will you stand with us? Of course. My word is my bond. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Before our next expedition, I need Himeko to teach me some negotiation skills. Beating people up all the time is cramping my elegance. Marge, I don't think you ever had elegance. <laughs> I haven't fought with Jafard since he enlisted. He could never beat me when we were little, but now... I need to find a healing thing first before I... If I recall, there was a... Where's one over here? So you know what? Where's the... Oh, nope, never mind. You know what? Let's go. We don't need the healing. I've got Bailu, it's fine. Technique points over there. Um... Guess I can see him over there. <laughs> Actually. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and then I can restore over here. Woo! There's Jafard. Alright, well. Serval. It really is you. Wait, Jafard? Listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. Depart! Listen to us! Step away from the intruder, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're Hand over the letter! Oh my god! I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every- Enough, Serval. <gasps> have you forgotten where we are? We Landals ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Every Silver Main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. And here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Hi, Silvers. Silver it's not going well. Jepard, literally, just show, just show him Brajo's letter. I'm. Uh. Why do you think I've come here? We found a way to dispel the Eternal Freeze, to seal the Fragmentum. It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kakolia? Why would you sneak into the restricted zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. 
You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Oh my god. I think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events. Listen to me, Jepard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the architect's records, it's... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. They do not! Oh my god, Jepard! Truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the architects. Can we send down Himeko and Welt or something? Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy, that you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge, and that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabar. Uh... I, I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. It's just. Guards, formation, arrest these people. We could be inundated with fragmentum monsters at any uh, moment. You have Bronyo's letter, show it to him! The forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Kokoli is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end. Well, sets are all. Save your explanation for the judge. You are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. Well, let's go. Yeah, they brought it up only for for Saval, and then they just forgot about it. All right, this one is in best word. Our position is solid. No, it's not. Move carefully. Okay. Um. No ice sweeper. Best word. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Alright, Jepard. I built my MC, and you are about to get bonged. Um. Okay. I think I want a defense MC. Here. Let me tend your wounds. Try that again. Nice try. On my command. Try hard stuff. Watch this awesome move. Oh, it's a good thing I used that. I've no interest in conflict. Ah, uh, you got a barrier. Okay. The truth of life and death. I don't Reveal need to use that it. on this guard, right? I'm just gonna it's use it on your part. You got Violet? Yeah, I got her last stream. Let's make it quick. All right. Bonk. Told you Get broken, Jepard. Fighting is meaningless. Let's go. Stay down. You're gonna get up. Yeah. Fist of conviction. You're apparently not convicted enough. No, it's not. Rules are made to be broken. Oh, bye bye. Wow. need you to yield we don't want you to yield through force of arms that wouldn't be a victory for us 
Finally, show him the letter! In which case, believe Bronya. Lady Bronya. Telling Japart everything you know and showing him Bronya's it. Finally! Oh my god, we could have done this before we fought him. There's nothing more to say, Japart. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Main Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders. Of Question the your Guard. duties! Final answer. But Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front lines. According to military protocol, with the front oh, line thank God. of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, a soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. Thanks for understanding. For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Balabog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our I sure do love neutrality loopholes, hell yeah! Preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Bronya for your own ends, I swear by Klopoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. You're not lying. I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. We're from the underworld. Your style is nothing like that of the guards. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. Thank you, Japard! If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the snow plains on the other side. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. Ah, oh, finally. All right. Can I heal real quick? All right, cool. I gotta admit, I had a lot of misunderstandings about the Silvermane guards. They're fine. Wishing I got Sila, but like, Kafka. <laughs> The difference is, we're making a stand for freedom, while they're just carrying out orders. Do you understand Vanya's struggles? Of course struggles? I do. I've understood them for a while now. But as far as I can tell, Aww. she doesn't need other people's understanding. She needs to understand her own heart. And it's the same with Jafar. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. I could tell it took a lot for him to lay down his arms. ourselves in their shoes <laughs> easier said than done everyone has their struggles but how can we understand them if we can't even see each other all right it's time I to think finish I can this already hear the storm on the other side of the city walls <sighs> it's not a reassuring sound this is gonna come to a boss fight against kokolia isn't right. it that supreme lunatic better not have harmed Bronya. All right. Definitely gonna need March. Definitely gonna need Bayou, and definitely. Oh, excuse me. Definitely gonna need my two main as soon tech as the dealers. The zone gate is open. The monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. One more area until Kokolia? Oh, one more area and then Kokolia. Gotcha. So, have you made up your minds? We're ready. Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. Guards, open the gate. 
All right. Oh, they weren't kidding. Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. For Pelabog. Here they come. Steal yourselves. All right, one of three. Uh, this should be easy. Pretty easy. This is our chance. I keep expecting a follow-up attack, but I don't have her to on this team. Told you I could fight. Right. Bonk. Ah, oh, not fight. Now it's dead. Thanks. No wind. I'm just gonna have to. The truth of life and death. Bye bye. It's but a vision. Told you I could fight. And that's done. Quite a lot. Oh, I should probably MC. Give me MC. Rules are made to be broken. Okay, this will break. Oh, rather, this will kill. Oh, Japard! I told you, Japard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. This is only the first wave. Japard, take a back seat. I have to. Hey, Mr. Silvermane, listen to your sister. I can tell just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. <sighs> Outsiders, Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. Huh? Uh, Sir Ball, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. He's my responsibility now. Besides, if I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to catch a glimpse oh, of my own eyes. And now it's so close. But I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Get hold of the Stellaron before Kakolia realizes what's happening. This is what happens when you just don't listen? Yeah. We won't disappoint you. Now I have a feeling. Hey March. It's inside. Don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me. She's gonna forget. Say no more. We're good at this. Don't worry. Oh Serval is so cool. I really like Serval. I have a feeling. It's just like with the MC. Oh, Himiko! Hi Walt. Momentum activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Eurelo 6. Shouldn't we go down there, Himiko? <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is her first trailblazing expedition. Guys, How will she I don't think... Look back fondly without a few twists and turns? I don't think this is an opportune time to go, hmm, they're going to enjoy it. Nothing bad will happen. Are you bored, Welt? I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. So you think we'll be safe, right? Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator-level imaginary reactions. Relax. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little... off-site assistance. Guys, I think you should interfere! Is this... the Fragmentum Japard was talking about? Compared to this... Corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. How can we pinpoint the Stellaron? Sir Val said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Bellabog. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this fragmentum maze first. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like... It's the Stellaron. Like there are loads of eyes staring at us. This place makes my flesh crawl. 
About to find the equivalent of God to these people. True. We have no guide and no way of detecting the Stellaron. We'll just have to advance gradually and cautiously. Exactly. Don't be disheartened. The stronger the fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. All right. Well, very glad that this is here. Oh, look! Up ahead on the ground! What is that? Be careful. Think twice before you interact with anything in the Fragmento. I am thinking twice. And I am investigating. Uh-oh! Could she right. be here too? She must be. This can't be a coincidence. It's a hologram. No, it isn't them. It must be a kind of echo. Uh oh! Some type of residual energy replicated by the fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like they went that way. <laughs> Just in time. Uh oh! I don't think Vanya's in a good position. Go. Items obtained. Delicate snow globe. Oh no! All right. Oh, this is just here. All right. Can we? You still haven't told me what oh. this place is, Mother. Seven hundred years ago, this was Belabog's northern border, and the site of an ancient battle. Here is where Elisa Rand led the first Silver Main guards in resistance against the Legion. They really aren't. Dressed now, in the cold. It is nothing more than an abandoned corridor filled with the sounds of old world echoes. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Ronya. On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. Mother, I don't like the. Do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. It and yet, the crime of our ancestors. Cocolia, no! Inability to embrace that destruction sooner. Cocolia, that is not the mindset to have. From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. But the Stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing That's not the good. and lingering struggle. This is the price the Stellaron demands. So I think this confirms the theory that the Stellarons were handed down by the Aeon of Destruction. The promise is fulfilled, Ronya. No longer will we have to under our lives guarding this wasteland you they said this I much just standing here witness the new world rise from the ruins <laughs> this is a complex mechanism how did they get past uh, i knew this wouldn't be simple oh uh, wait wasn't there some big energy help all right i had a feeling probably should have interacted well, with it first I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings, especially this deep know. into the Fragmentum. However... However... There's no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. That's more like it. Even Don Hung the Sensible has his adventurous days. How many times have I seen the trope where they use the power that destroyed the civilization to stay alive? It worked, right? Yeah, you know. But the gate didn't move. Desperate an times inch. call for desperate measures. And in this case, you shouldn't trust the desperate measures. Are there other units around? Hmm. Alright. It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through too easily. Let's keep looking for the energy hub. Oh, how nice of them to mark it out for me. 
Oh, okay. Look over there. I think I can see the next. Not area. the opportune time. There's something walking right to us. I see it too. Let's go. All right. Uh. Hey, you bonk. This is our chance. Gotta build up our meter. Reach the end of the story, story in, in your, your own way. way. This is. Oops. Okay, not now. I'll do that after. It's guarding it almost. All right. This will strengthen our position. Oh, let's go that one. Okay. Let's go. My turn. That was easy. Too late to repent. Easy. Are those monsters guarding the energy hub? Seems like it. Strange. Fragmentum monsters would usually destroy man made objects. Alright, that's another one. Did you hear that? This mechanism must be on now. Come on, let's find the next one. Yep. Where is the next mechanism? Oh, behind that gate. No switch. We need to find a way around. I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Not anymore. Rivet Town is only at the outstretched fingertips of the corrosion. Now, we're deep in the Fragmentum's heart. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's do. Uh, turn it clockwise. Never mind. Okay. So this is the long way. I should have just turned it counterclockwise. I didn't see the. Bridges are kind of dangerous. What if people fall off? There's no handrails or anything. What is this? Just to get too close, I better check in with Mr. Yang first. Uh, Dad, what's this? Appears to be a rift in space torn open by the fragmentum as it corrodes reality. The scientific name for this phenomenon is Cavern of Corrosion. No one knows for sure what kind of space the caverns are connected to, however, research doesn't indicate that valuable reality data is often scattered within these caverns. As with Calyxes, the derivatives of the Fragmentum always cause carry unidentified risks. Please exercise extra caution if you wish to explore further. Okay. Okay, these are relics. Uh, relic farming! Uh. This is all of- okay, no, it's just the healing and the speed one. Okay. Relic farming. Ha! Path of Jabbing Punch? I do need this one for a couple of characters, I'm pretty sure. Have you gotten the relic text yet? Well, I have now! Relic farming my behated me too. Um, yeah, might as well. No, that's the wrong one. This will strengthen our position. No interest. I should have went wind. This is our chance. My turn. All right. Pull it Fighting is meaningless. Next turn. All right. Reach the end of the story in your own way. It's on, and there is one more on the other side. 
Now farther to the left, the more enemies that have it. Success! Another mechanism shut down! Not the far wait, not the farther to the left, the more enemies that have it? What does that mean? I want to ask you a question. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. That's not good! Kukulia. The voice that knows we're getting this close. This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the. Can we try to converse back? I don't think that's a thing. And the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well. There's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. Stellaron is already one Kokolia. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? Well, we don't really have a choice. Yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Bronya. Let's go for it. Beat Kokolia and crush the Stellaron thing to dust. Me too, Sila. Alright. <laughs> Open this and it, the other one should be on the other side. That should be it. Uh, is this right? <sighs> if you want to get to the other side, we'll need to rotate the gear bridge again and go around. That should be it. We have to go to the other side. Never mind. Okay. Okay. How does this work? Bonk. Oh, oops. Bonk. There we go. Go back. Reach the end of the story. Oh, this is up here. Why is that one over here? I have to do it over here. Uh, you have to go back through the gate you used to get to the right. switch. What? Oh, there's one over here? If you want to get to the other side, we'll need to rotate the gear bridge again and go around. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, I think I understand. Um, doesn't matter if I turn it clockwise or counterclockwise. Like that. Oh, okay. All right, then we go here. Go onto the bridge. And go to the other side. Oh, 
Oh, okay, there we go. Fighting is meaningless. This is our chance. Told you I could fight. Let me turn it. Alright, easy. Reach the end of the story in the bone. That's the last one. Momentum here seems to have made a special connection with Kokolia. I really it's appreciate Rania levitating in the air. Image. I don't understand. Even if the truth is as you say, every generation of guardians. I don't think they've resisted it. Stellaron, and all of them have been wrong, Mother. Do you still not see, Branya? There is no I think they were all wrong here. Wrong here. Some of them acted out of human pride, others out of human short-sightedness. Our ancestors, including Elisa Rand, spent their whole lives trying to prolong this civilization. And after all, Did you know that's just something all Vendors can do? Ah, of course. Were scattered by the blizzard. They spent Lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity, but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into the stars. I think, yeah, to I think Wakoli is gone. Of greater magnificence in the heavens above. A thousand years is but a passing moment. The attainments of insignificant beings, nothing more than a footnote. I shall not follow the Guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism if persistence is futile i don't yeah uh, i think kokolia is, isn't there anymore clip off the preservation are they not one of the magnificent entities you speak of is it not their strength that has sheltered bellabog this entire time the preservation has the preservation ever looked humanity in the eye nothing more than an arrogant delusion of the architects. Oh, you will hear the real voice of magnificence, Branya. Then you will understand my choice. It's the voice of the Stellaron. Don't listen to it. Alright, let's go. Whoa. Check this place out. Tables and sentry posts? There must have been silver main guards stationed here once. If there were, they left a long time ago. <laughs> there might be valuable information here. Uh, shame we don't have time to look for it. Looks like another completely new monster. Looks cool as hell though. Considering where we are. It would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. I don't care how strange it is. It's blocking our way. Let's get it. Beat the fragmental monsters. Ha! Hey, what weakness are you? Okay. This was strengthen our position. Oh, it's a good thing MC is attack punishment Ooh. are made to be broken. We'll be attacked one time. Ah, it'll be fine. Yeah. Move carefully. Last one turn. Save Don Han. Let's make it quick. And I've already gotten it off of MC. My turn. All right, yeah, I'm gonna. I was just gonna have to take this. Skill punishment. 
Okay. That's the okay. The truth of life and death is sanctuary. It's but a vision. Break! This is our chance. No interest in coming. Let's go. Oh wow, that was easy. Okay. This enemy is completely different. If I didn't know it was a product of the fragmentum, I think we were fighting a human. Unlike those random low-level fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind Ooh. of its own. Still on creative complex tactics. Damage over time OP. Look, and uh, it's they pretty good. Here. The bus is getting clearer. Uh, that means we must be really close, right? I sense that we're very near to the northern snow plains. Collect these. Unsent letter. I don't think that was the time. Yeah, what's going on over this here? This is where the first guardian led the Silvermane guards into battle. She made huge sacrifices for the sake of temporary respite. But the otherworldly legion did not tire. She soon realized that flesh and blood could not contend with so ruthless an enemy. When all was nearly lost, she chose to set her sights on the Stellaron and made the first wish as for what came later you know as well as i so the eternal freeze was a disaster brought about by a human wish <laughs> ironic no all the stellaron did was answer humanity's call okay and we kept its existence a closely guarded secret for centuries even going so far as to attempt to use it to control the Stellaron. Woeful. <laughs> Laughable. It? Well, something created using otherworldly technology. An inhibitor that a corporation from the old world and the architects attempted to use to house the Stellaron. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. I know you have many questions, my daughter. Be patient. Soon you will have all the answers. I should probably take this. I should probably come to it. So. Oh, there's a bunch over there. And there's a bunch more over here. Um. Okay. Oh, there is a chest over here. Let's grab this. And now let's run over. Oh, there she is. I see her. Might as well farm for energy. Fighting is meaningless. Let's go. Told you I could fight. Let me find my no interest in conduct. Yes, Cocolia. The story in your own. All right, hi there. Oh no. Okay. It feels like this echo is different from the other. I thought this was the actual Cocolia. Intruders. Uh oh. Did she just speak? You can. Oh, we're fighting it? Bring her down. So I think I want to bring Asta. <laughs> Truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a It'll be fine, probably. Move carefully. Let's make it quick. Oh, I meant to click the fence. That's fine. You are doomed to fail. 
Oh, it's a good thing I. I'll try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Uh -huh. I'm home. Try that again. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death is sanctuary. But I think vision. I should have brought Ash. Uh oh. The eternal breeze will bury you. Ooh, I don't have enough time to bring that down here. Let me your wounds. Let's go. Oh, bye bye, Don Hong. Rules are made to be broken. That's the very good versus Cocolia. Um, I will keep that in mind as I switch out March. Please recover from freeze. Thank you, Don Hug. <laughs> Let's make it quick. So, not gonna do much. You can't run. Try that again. That's all. No interest in conflict. The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Let's go. You are doomed to fail. I should have saved. I should have saved. Okay, I think I'd rather just attack. I hit two instead of three. I try hard. Some watch this awesome move. Make it quick. Homemade crushed ice? What broken. does that mean? Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Fighting is meaningless. Okay, well, March is frozen. I'm gonna restore. Uh -huh. Judgment of eternal winter. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! We should kill. There we go. She disappeared. Our stairs. It's the only way forward. Wherever they lead, it must be the end. Alright, let's switch out March and bring in Asta! March, now is not the time! That Branya is up ahead. And so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. It's all in our hands. Strange. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid, but I don't. The only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. Match the flaggy, please. Used to have gotten used to these expectations or expeditions. To be honest, you never really get used to them. We always used to rely on Himeko and Mr. Yang. The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Witnesses to part of a grander story. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world. But there are always times when we have no choice but to act. Or to put it another way, this is one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. Oh uh, hell yeah, Even almost getting jackpot. arrested. Almost get almost getting arrested. And now, determining the fate of an entire civilization. I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections. But, on second thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. Right on! But, you can say whatever you like. A good adventure shouldn't be full of rules and regulations. Helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. Say that like it's a normal Tuesday. Not to mention being declared number one enemy, classic Mihoyo MC, truly. Alright, now let's go back, heal. 
and uh goodbye March. I need Asta. Roads to the past have long been closed. Ooh, there's a oh, we've gotta make sure we're all ready. Um, yeah, my characters are all good. Don't need anything. Although maybe I should grind up. Eh, it's fine. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Alright, let's go. Look for Branya and Kokolia. Oh, it's time. Freezing here! Blizzard's so fierce. Now the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaron than the heart of the Eternal Freeze. All right, let's go. There's something here. Well, what is this? Oh, it's scary. I think these are corpses. It's like an insect trapped in amber. I bet the antimatter legion forces never thought they'd be swallowed up by the eternal freeze when they invaded this world. Huh? We've been in the ice. Could these guys still be alive? I don't think so, March. I hereby name him March 8th! Press, you can still think of jokes right now. Oh, goodbye, March 8th. It was nice meeting you. Resident remains of Ford Rangers are scattered along the mountain path. Even the ruthless antimatter legion is helpless against the might of the eternal freeze. The Void Ranger remains are preserved remarkably well in the ice. We can't help but wonder. Perhaps March 7th is right. Either way, you think it's best not to unfreeze them. Alright. Did the architects build this? Whoa! Very different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. Does it look like the palm of a huge hand to you? If Kokolia yes. threatens us by taking Branya hostage... We have to save her. The underworld... No. The entire planet relies on her. This looks like... Fighting on a giant mech. Sustenance anchor! Ooh! Boss battle time, it looks like. Hello there, you two. It's time. There's the Stellaron. No, do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. No! I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya. Kokolia! Poverty without What are you doing? Suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. And guard for all eternity. Seven hundred years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. And to what end? A crushing defeat. Faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist. To cover our ears is that why part of her is covered in ice? The cold. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. Brian, no! Don't listen to her! Free of the chains that bind you, the Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Yes! Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. <laughs> you wish. We're not going down before you do. Rania, I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. So true, Sila. There are two things. Lessie and Power know. saves the day. True. One. These guys have come through hell to get here to steal this Celeron thing. And two. Do you remember? 
remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. Bella Block needs you, Branya. All of you. Uh, finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. Uh-oh. I want to witness your choice. I've told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the Architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. And the welcoming of a new world. Consider, don't destroy the entirety of humanity. That is never a good thing. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so... If it was so tangible, then we would have accomplished it so long ago! I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me... But, but it's for the greater good! Me. No! It is never for the greater good! <laughs> Enduring torment. Well, you're gonna have to be tormenting now. Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final. Himiko? Well, I think we need your help now. Throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. That you sounds like a lie! We will always have. I don't think she ever had a choice. So now, choose my daughter. <clears throat> Madame Picard, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I, I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds a light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome, not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. Oh. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you. So, this is your choice. I understand, Branya. Oh. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. I don't like the wording of that. Uh oh. The ground, it's shaking. 
Are we on a giant mech? will unfold in our hands and you will become the foundation of the new world you must break the Ooh. old to build Cut the in. new the supreme guardian commands you rise engine of creation it's one of the architects engine machines watch out all of you All right. Of course she's just- she can just fly. Hey, my coat! Oh! Okay. Can you speed up with Asta? Oh, Star, give these trailblazers your blessing! I probably should have checked her artifacts before I went into this, but it's a bit too late for that now. Let's go! No manners, huh? <laughs> Easy. Oh, yo, let's go. Uh. The truth of life and death. This, this? is but a vision. Break. Let's make it quick. Huh. Who invited you? Huh? You don't look so good. Yeah, uh, Esther doesn't look so good on health right now. Saving me won't earn you any favors. I can barely hear you, Kokolia! Rules are made to be broken. No interest in conquer. All right. Oh. Is that Himika? Oh, it's Himika. Space laser, hell yeah! Here we go, don't just drop us a hint and go, oh, you guys deal with it. Oh, we're just climbing to the top. Yo, go MC, go MC! Ranya's got a gun! Uh oh. Grab hold of me. Yo, go MC, go MC. This is hype. Oh no. Got hung. Uh, hi, Cocolia. Do I get a chance to heal? The power granted by them! Oh, she's freezing over. Ah, uh, of course. Listen to the power surge! Sing! The Stellaron's promise is the only hope for this world. Why does your hair look like Serval? Just as it dispelled the Antimatter Legion 700 years ago. So too will it wipe you from the face of this world! 
Oh, it's only us. Stay alert. Yeah, this is not gonna end well, I don't think. This might be a scripted death. Let's make it quick. Rules are made to be broken. So I think we're about to face a scripted death. This last one damage, yeah, it doesn't. Humanity. So weak and foolish. Always overestimating their abilities. Let me bestow upon you despair. Team, come in. I face the scripted death. Oh, goodbye, MC. Yeah, that can't be the end, right? We've got a Stellaron of our own. Oh, where Is are we? The universe? But I was fighting Kakolia. Why am I here? The last time I came here, I drew an Oh, Klepoth. Could it be? It's time to talk to Klepoth. The commercial district has fallen. Oh. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I... Go on, Jabard. I... I'm not sure that they're dead. Oh. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum. She's essentially just sending them to their death. Why do you hesitate, Kakolia? Isn't this what you've always been hoping for? Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What is there to lose? The efforts of our predecessors, their unfinished research. We can finally see them come to fruition. Oh, survival. Give me some soldiers and I'll locate the Stellaron and find out how to save our world. You need to come to your senses, Serval. Come to my senses? What are you? Guards, Miss Serval is tired. Take her to rest. Sequester her lab and detain the researchers. Their work oh, is of illegal. course. Why, Kakolia? Why have you grown so cold? Zerval Landau. You were my most cherished friend. Oh. Soldiers are dead. Feast on their willful ignorance. Absolve she converting them into monsters? Crumble. 
The underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. Hmm. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every silver main guard in the city. Oh, this is what she was talking about. Must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. Oh. Alright, who are you, tiny child? Pokolia abandoned the preservation. Preservation. Yes. But we have no right to judge. The fragmentum have been expanding for the past 700 years. There is no faith nor wealth left for our successors. Only despair to see the home we to preserve wither away. That in itself is torture. Not to mention the haunting whisper of temptation. The day will come when even the strongest of wills cannot help but give in to such influence. It is only a matter of time before the Amber Lord forsakes us. I'll let others carry on the will of the preservation. You. You are but a stranger to us. And yet. Why is the Guardian's will represented by a child? So be it. What is there to lose when so much has already been lost? Touch the light of the Amber. See if your will can attract their gaze. See if your will can attract their gaze. Alright, we're calling on Kapoth. Get over here. Oh, this is the life she stabbed us with. You can do it! Oh, fire to melt the eternal freeze. I can't hear you, Cocolia! Neither can I hear you, Branya! Guys, you need to talk louder! Oh, trial. Harbinger of Annihilation. Yeah, the music is too cool for them. The truth oh. of life and death, revealed in an end, this sanctuary, is but a vision! Oh, he's too- she's too big. Stay alert. Oh, allies currently being locked on. Please use end skill. Oh, it's a taunt! Defend the weak! 
step aside. Right. I have no interest in stoking conflict. <laughs> Oh. Magma will is accumulated when it is attacked. It's enhanced base attack. Ooh. Then everyone didn't shield. Who invited you? Who will it be? Nice teamwork. Fighting is meaningless. Creation is activated. Use it to destroy the lance of eternal freeze. Ooh. Nope. Bring it on my action. But can charge. Okay. That's just an no extra attack then. The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision. Right. Machine. Done, hung. Do your thing. Bye, Mike. Oh wait, second phase. Okay, no, I forgot. Unfortunate that MC got attacked. Oh, the music is good. Okay, okay, everyone needs to heal. Thank you for existing, Bailu. I think after the priority. Saving me while I'm on guard. Uh -huh. Who will it be? Oh, I can't. Okay. Well, okay. Uh -huh. Don't worry about me. <laughs> All right, you're not activating that. Okay, so this is 
Wildfire is so banger. Truly, this song is really good. The truth of life and the sanctuary is but a vision. I need, I need M to wake up because this is not gonna end well. All right. Okay, I got a ton. And this is gonna break. Yep. Let's go. Goodbye, Kakolia. Coca-Cola. Informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll seal the Stellaroth. Yeah, Kokolia is dead yes. as hell. The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Hmm. Hmm. The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaroth is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. That momentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Was it like hoping for her redemption arc? I I think she was too far along but it will for take along time. for any redemption there. It will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. What do you want to do now? This victory is only the beginning for Bellaba. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. You don't have to do it. Tell everyone the truth. Can I really do that? Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. Sila. Huh? I... I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie. But it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? Oh, uh, yeah, it's one of these. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? <sighs> Mother died to preserve Bellaba. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Elissa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet... She decided to challenge its power, a, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth. Mm, the world I don't will think hear. so. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical. Hard to disprove. In the end, that's all they can do. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. Maybe you bring cool some of the cool stuff we did? Let's use this version if we have to. Thank you for understanding. Well, but then Sir Val won't know why Kokolia changed. Mother was an outstanding guardian. A 
your truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. And discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Seal. Please. Protect this secret with me. At least I'll survive. She was the closest to Cocolia. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Oh, look at them. Look at the two. Alright. Tila. Can you tell everyone in the underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over. And they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... Administrative District. I need to tell Jabard. Oh, all... Serve. Huh. Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Oh. Do you feel sick? <sighs> I'm... I'm fine. I need to. I need Branya, to. Branya, you need to rest. Uh, she's exhausted. Quick, we need to think of something. Uh, you help me out here. We go to the underworld and pass right. on the message. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. Let's settle then. I'll leave not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun. For Bella Bog's sake. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Oh, uh, think you can just uh, so here on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. So we died. It's, that's the second time I've sacrificed for myself for you, March. Um, thank you. <laughs> that's not answering my question, though. She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. A glance Something from similar Kripa. happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from Nanook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. All right. Oh, let's go. Tread on a new path. Preservation. Trial of the Equilibrium, part two. Every winter and fate. Select on. Yep. Switch. Ooh. Switch freely. Alright, uh, I'll switch. I'll mess with around with that later, but let's finish up the realistic story here. move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Mm-hmm. You bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength and then... Uh, maybe she should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. Oh, thank God, March. I'll probably say something I'll regret. Guardian sacrificed herself to seal the Stellaron. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, March. that's the whole story. Kakolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. 
So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? Yes, it was a hard-won victory. Thank you. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. Oh, what about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia is no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian. Oh, it's not funny. She sees things through and doesn't go back on her word. The underworld will thrive again under her watch. Mm hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> The blockade will soon be lifted. The oh, people of the that. underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Come soon. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of underworld. Clara, 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 Clara. Oh, I don't even get a choice of Clara. My team over at the Green Line. Hmm. Roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly. <laughs> This should be Wildfire's final mission. Do you think the Great Mine was affected by our fighting on the surface? Probably. <sighs> Let's hope we didn't cause a collapse. Oh, look, it's Antonia! The miners and vagrants are all in the same spot. I sure hope they're not arguing again. Quick, let's head over. Here, take it. I'm afraid we're short on goods and materials right now. Oh, well, we actually have enough for the moment. Oh. You hang on to it. Hey, are you guys causing trouble again? It's you! Oh, no, no, you misunderstand. There was a huge oh, break in good the mine ones. just now. Part of it collapsed. Vagrants here hadn't stopped to help. I doubt we'd have gotten everyone out in one piece. I was just discussing how to repay them. It's a shame the mining team's hard. Some miners are more important than Best Girl Clara. Oh, truly. I think Best Girl deserves to be up here. Oh. Doing something great? To do with us? Yeah, I'm listening. So the vagrants about the victory. Well, you mean to say. We're about to be reunited with the overworld? Are you serious? Better believe it. This has got to be a dream. Good things don't happen to us. Today they do. And you're not dreaming. If you don't believe us, pinch yourself. If things go back to the way they were ten years ago, then the mining team can finally escape this poverty. And you won't have to rely on the charity of others. We'll finally be living with the dignity we deserve. I... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let it out. Thank you, outsiders, from the bottom of my heart. The mining team will remember you as heroes, as will the rest of the underworld. Please tell Natasha that we're ready to get back to work. If the cable car station can start operating again, we'll dispatch a mining representative to negotiate with the architects. Ceiling of the star line is complete and the spatial distortion is dis dissipating. Good job. We should be back soon. The National Express family! Don't rush, go at your own pace. The Express will be here before you're ready to leave. Great. I'm craving some juice. Pom Pom still owes me a glass. How's your little six? Not great. Even though the influence of the star line has basically subsided, the existing fragmentum is too deeply rooted. The eternal reason has lasted a very long time, enough to severely impact the ecology of the planet. In short, the planet probably won't regain the vitality that it once had in a thousand years ago in such a short time. 
how could this be? Is there anything else we can do? As trailblazers, our mission has already concluded successfully. The fate of the world should be handed back to its inhabitants. Hey, mankind has always struggled against austere conditions and have always managed to thrive in spite of it. Now that the eternal freeze is gone, the fragmentum has lost its momentum to expand. Your realistics will be revitalized. I mean, well, you're typing too fast. Well, you're typing too fast. Uh, believe in the perseverance of your people. I detect a high frequency special energy surge in the north of your realistic, so you might be interested in checking it out. Don't worry, the energy is not related to the stone run, it's only an echo left behind after the spatial distortions fade away. Inside that echo, our perceptions of space and time that we are used to will become radically altered to the point where it might even con reconstruct certain scenes from our own past experiences. If you're in the mood to and wish to relive those memorable like, adventures, you can try your luck at places where echoes can be found. Okay, so we can be fright bosses. Oh, Mr. Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not going to solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. We did all we could. Now it's a matter of time. Of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's, Let's go. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Alright, gotcha. Do I have to fight bosses? Let's claim this. Yes, I know, game. Let me claim all this first. I'll go more. Oh, okay. It's oh, I get traces from this. Destruction at the ending, doomsday, end of the eternal freeze. It's getting late. Where to now? How much do I have left? I might have to end a little early. Um, it might be... It might be a bit before I can... Before this ends. I might have to wait until... I'll at least clear this up. Progress. Oh, is everyone alright? Yep. That's <laughs> group notification. Sometimes face-to-face -face communication is more meaningful, don't you think? Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Branya doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparag and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Sparag's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to wildfire. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. Okay, I have to mute for a second there, but I'm very glad Clara and Sparog were not optional. Where were you, Clara? Outsiders. For friends of Clara. Oh, Perkins got it. Hi, Perkins. How did you know that was Perkins? The, the, the. Thank you for rescuing Oh, Perkins got damaged. Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Outsiders are friends of Clara. Follow me. Oh, oh, this is so good. Oh, there are people here. <gasps> there they are. You too. You have visitors, Clara. Oh, it's the variables. 
another nickname for the collection. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Sparks said it must have been... Recalculating. Conclusion. Engine, Engine of creation. 97.66% probability. Old friend of yours? The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. Oh. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The underworld and the overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Sparog, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the underworld for the time being. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but, but now, Mr. Sparrow, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? Oh. I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and meet new friends. You can do it, buddy. I know you will. Calculation result. Update. Mission Yo. number zero 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 one. Preserve the underworld. Complete. Oh, your message. Uh, this android can actually send messages. How do you feel physically? Yes, you see, I'm fine now. Oh, that's good. Thank God. Uh, thank goodness I already given orders. The server main guards to immediately- It's Brania, please! In orders to server main guards to immediately lift a blockade between the overworld and the underworld, and some people in the underworld have, should have already received the notice. After closing for more than a decade, the cable star car station should be finally reopened soon. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to come to the overworld for my succession ceremony. We'll be there. See you there, then. <laughs> Thank you, Branya. Right. That's our Branya! Quick as a flash! <laughs> she certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it! Alright, I'm gonna have to end off stream for tonight. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. If you'd like to come join the Discord server we have in here, come look at my Twitter and come look at the YouTubes where I post the archives of the streams. But that's all I've got for you guys tonight. I'm gonna have to head off. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.